hi welcome to my channel in this video i will give a tutorial about how to build a flight tracking application with python and using open air traffic data at the end of this tutorial we will get an application like this that is running in a web browser here we can see some airplanes within an area and we also can get the information about the aircraft using hover tool Okay, let's get started. Actually, this video is a explanation of our blog post uh, with the title Build Your Own Fact Tracking Application with Python and Open Air Traffic Data. The link for this blog post can be found in this video's description below. In this page, you can find all the code that we need in this tutorial. So you can copy it and get along with me through this tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm using Jupyter Notebook. So let's go to Jupyter Notebook. Okay, the first step, we are going to get the data from OpenSky Network. So what is OpenSky Network? So OpenSky Network is a consortium that provides open air traffic data around the globe. You can find more information about the FLBL data in this web page. Okay, let's continue with our Jupyter Notebook. For the first step, we will import some libraries. So here I import request JSON and pandas. And then because we want to fetch the data within an area, we need to specify maximum and minimum coordinate. So this is the maximum and minimum coordinate uh, for United States. So you can change this coordinate based on your interest area. After we define minimum and maximum coordinate, we will use it to construct the REST API query. If you are a registered user, you can fill your username here and also password here. And then this is the query. And we will send this query to get the response and then get the response in JSON format. After we get the response in JSON format, the last step in this section, we will dump the Respond data in JSON to pandas data frame. And at line 20, we will change all the we will change all the empty data with no data value. And the last one, we will show the first five top rows using head method. Let's run this code. Okay, this is the preview of the air traffic data. So we can see here all the columns. This is the ICAO 24, call sign, region, country, and so on. You can find about all these columns description in the AP, in the REST AP documentation here. Okay, this is the explanation about the each column. Okay, we are done with the first step. Now let's continue with the, the second step. In the second step, we will plot airplane's position based on the longitude and latitude coordinate. And for the plotting, we are using bokeh libraries. So we need to import all the required libraries and also we need to import numpy because we will do the coordinate transformation later. For coordinate transformation, we are using 
the function which is called WGS84 with Mercator. So this is for point transformation and this is for transformation of coordinate in data frame. This function will be used to transform coordinate from WGS84 geographic coordinate system to web mercator. We need to do this because we are using the best map in web mercator projection. That's why we have to convert the longitude latitude to web mercator coordinates. So this is the in this step we are doing the coordinate transformation here. This is four point and this is four data frames. And then we make a new color. This is which is called road angles. This is this is actually the rotation angle. And this is the column for airplane icon. And the next one we are we need to specify the figure setting so we define here x and y ring and then we put uh, in figure next we are doing plotting here adding this map airplane image and also cycle point Here we define hover and label and edit to layout. At the last line we use show to see the output. Now let's run the code. This is the output figure. We can see here the stem and turn base map and airplane plot over the base map but this is a static map in the next step we will make a dynamic map and the data will be updated every five seconds so this is the last step in this tutorial we will build the flight tracking application and the code in this step is combination from the previous steps so this is the final code as usual we are starting with importing libraries as we did before but there are some additional libraries which are server application and function handler then this is the coordinate transformation function Next, we define the boundary coordinate with maximum and minimum coordinate. And this is where the coordinate conversion is taking place. And this is uh, the coordinate ring that will be used in the figure settings. And the last one before we are making the application, we set up API query. If you are a registered user, give your username here and also the password. But if not, you can skip this uh, variable or leave it empty. And this is the application function. This function consists of jobs or assignments that will be taken when the function is running. Firstly, we initialize a bokeh column data source, which consists of every columns in data frame. Because we are building application with the metric data will be updated in a specific interval, we create an update function here. So what is this function does? Firstly, it will fetch the latest data based on the API request query. 
and dump the data into pandas data frame. Lastly, streaming to Bokeh data source. The update will be called every 5000 milliseconds or 5 seconds if you access with registered user or it should be 10 seconds for anonymous user. Then in this section, we'll put the data. Adding basement tile here, airplane image, and also the points. Next one, we add hover tool and also the label. The document title and set the application document to root. And that's all for the main application function. The last three lines are the server code. Here we define the apps with application and function handler. Initialize the server port. And lastly, start the server. Now let's run the code. Okay, let's open the web browser and type localhost with the port number ok this is the flight tracking application with python and open traffic data We can navigate over this map, get information about an aircraft, zoom into an area, and so on. That's all this video tutorial. Please give a like and subscribe to get notification for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.